basic instructions of how to use your Solid Play HQ interface. Firstly, these instructions do not tell you how to turn on your scoreboard. Most scoreboards are different and there are people at your club that know this process. Please ask them. On the PC connected to your scoreboard, open up the Solid Play HQ app. That's this app. This is the program that opens. This will run in the background during your scoring day. The only time you need to touch it is if you want to change the scoreboard layout, run sponsor ads or display a message. Here's some fast buttons, sponsors. This is sponsors and scores, say maybe during lunch or a rain break. Depending on the size of your scoreboard and your own club needs, your layouts will be different. There will sometimes be a different choice of layouts to suit your own club needs. If you have a larger screen, you might have full batting and bowling lists. Turn on your scoreboard and the solid interface early before the game. Make sure you have an internet connection. If you are not sure about your live connection, then open a web browser on this PC and check. When ready, open up your Play HQ scoring page. This is usually on a separate device like a tablet or another PC near the scoring desk. Or like in this case, we have opened it on the same PC. Sometimes you might not have enough desktop real estate for this. Your solid Play HQ interface is programmed and locked to your oval and your scoreboard. There are no special codes for you to enter. If the fixture has your game planned for your oval, then the scores will automatically update. When you first turn on the scoreboard, you will see the scores from the last game. If you like, you can press the yellow clear button. We'll log on to a test game now. The operation of the Play HQ scoring app you should already know. Um, I'm sure people in your league have taken you through it. The toss, won by Team A, chose to bat, select your batters and your bowler, start the innings. Now if there's already scores up on the scoreboard might take a while to to clear so the scoreboards now change see top left and start scoring this signal is going up to the cloud and then back down again so it will take a couple of seconds press a four If there's animations or ads queued up after fours and overs, then that will happen automatically. Press a few more, new bowler. This one has some ads after the over. And that's about it. There are a lot more fields available if your screen's large enough to display them. 
Um, if you've got any questions, please call us. Our phone number is 03 9708-2992. We do work on weekends. If you've got any problems, please call us. If you turn your system on in a different order to what you have here, as in you, you start queuing up your players, selecting your team before you turn on the scoreboard, then it may take, uh, then the scoreboard will be behind you with data. So it doesn't know the batters yet. So it might take an over or two for the scoreboard to populate with the correct players. So don't, don't worry in the first couple of overs, it will hopefully clear up. If you don't have any signal coming through at all, recheck your internet signal by opening up a browser on that same computer. Um, if you're from a larger club or, or um, school, you might have a firewall that protects your PC from getting strange data from outside. So contact us, we'll do a test for you, see if the signal's working here. If the signal's working here, then you might have to approach your, your admin, your administrator, your geeks at the club or the school, and to see how we can work around it. Sometimes we can't get through um, strong firewalls, so we have to install a different modem, a standalone modem for your, your scoring computer. Have a good season. Thank you.